Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Self-Publishing Help, where I'll be making some videos on formatting your own book interiors for self-publishing on Amazon or other platforms. And today I want to show you the start of creating a chapter opener page and differentiating that page from the rest of your chapter. So I've got a few examples here of books that I've written and what I did with my chapter opener page. So on this one I really just have no formatting on the page. I started my chapter heading a little further down. Uh, there's the title. And then on the next page, I have the header and I've used the book title for this page header. And I have the page number right in that header. That's why there's no page number on the chapter opener because I included it in the header. And typically you would see that most professionally formatted books don't have a header on their chapter page. It's just aesthetic preference, but that's usually, if you look at most books, that would be what they look like. And you can notice, as I discussed in my last video, when you look at your page preview, you'll have to get used to uh, looking and thinking of your book backwards. So this page here, that looks like it's on the left-hand side, when the book is turned into a, a paperback book, the left-hand side in your page preview will actually be the right-hand side in your paperback book. So the next page in this book, here I have the chapter title in the heading along with the page number. And then on this side, I have the book title. And I am fond of having my chapter titles in my headers. That's uh, something I do quite a lot. Um, not every author has that preference. And one reason is uh, some authors don't use chapter titles for all their books or any of their books. So of course, if you just have your chapters titled chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, you probably wouldn't want to include that in your header. Um, I like to have my chapter title in the header just because I feel like the reader is uh, gonna be able to glance up at the top of the page and remember what chapter they're on and what the topic is. and just helps the reader stay organized, helps me stay organized. Um, often, uh, some books will have the, um, the title of the book on both sides of the page as their header. Some books won't have any header at all. Um, it's just a matter of aesthetic preference. And here's one that I did slightly differently. Uh, again, I have my header. I've used some graphics there. And I have my chapter title as the header there. Um, but rather than including the page number in the header, here I've got it as a footer. And that's also a, a common method. I think I just wanted to um, give myself a few more pages in this book because it was a short book. So I made the font bigger and, and spread it out a little more and put the chapter number at the bottom of the page. So there's just there's different ways to do things. And of course, you can just look at your favorite books and a book interiors that you like and see how the publishers chose to do it for those books and you can once you have the tools and know how to use them you can do whatever you like with your book formatting so here i've got my chapter title used a little bit of a graphic and to carry on in the book again here i have my um, on this side i have the chapter title and on this side i have the book title and again page numbers at the bottom, a little bit of a graphic. So that's how I chose to do that one. And one more example. Uh, in this one, again, I have the header with the title and the page numbers included in there. Um, used a little bit of a different sizing to set off my chapter title and to flip over a couple pages. So there again, I have the chapter title in my heading. And I have written books where I didn't title my chapters. Maybe they had a, too many chapters to title or I just couldn't think of titles or didn't feel like they needed them. And then I would do something different with the formatting. Um, of course, some people like to have author's name in their headers. But for this video, I'm just showing you some samples of how I've done things in the past and just some ideas for you. We won't get into doing the headers and the footers in this video, 
we're mostly focusing on the chapter opener pages and how you set them off from the rest of the chapter. So, so here's the practice book that I started building for you in the last two videos. So here I am on my very first page and just to scroll back, there's a blank page right in front of it. Um, maybe I would have had an intro on this page. Blank page, my table of contents, copyright page, title page. So these pages I've formatted as, I believe I called the style basic. And I just um, use that um, name for the style of these pages because they really have no formatting. There's no page numbers. There's no headers. The margins are even. They're just the most basic formatting. Uh, and this is what I would have for a blank page, which I will um, be talking about in a second. But here we are on the, the chapter opener page. So let's start the formatting. Let's start the page differentiation by going up to Format. And as we saw in the last video, down to Styles and Formatting. And when you click on that, it brings up this dialog box. Now, the fourth little uh, spot over here is our page styles, which is what we're working on today. And I'm going to want to add a new one. Here's the ones that it has already. There's Basic that I added last video. Uh, so I'm going to want to add one today and I'm going to call it chapter opener. So over on the right I would bring up new style from selection. I'll choose that and I'll call this chapter opener. Click OK and now you can see it's added to the list of styles. So I'm on the page that I'm working on and now I'm going to want to double click on the style that I want it to be in. So what you'll see down here at the bottom, this is telling you the uh, the style you're formatting for this page and it's the one that we just created. It's called chapter opener. Okay, I'll close the dialog back box. And now that I now that we have the style, we have it named, we're on the page that we're working on. Now we can give it the characteristics that we want it to have. So for my chapter opener page, let's go to page and page. Now of course we'll want the book to have a standard sizing on all pages. So that was the size that I picked out in the beginning. And here I've got my margins. And you can see that my right hand margin is just slightly narrower and that's because uh, my chapter opener page would be a right hand page so the right hand margin down here is going to be the outside margin and i've just set it to be a little bit narrower because i would want a wider margin on the inside margin where the words might disappear into the spine if you don't um, leave enough room but if you want to not have so many pages in your book if you want to fit more words onto your page you can shrink your margins on the outside a little bit so this is going to be the right hand side and so my margin is already a little bit smaller so that's fine and back to format page and this time we want organizer so here i've got it labeled with the style chapter opener now this is why I always start my chapters on the right hand side of the book because it just makes it easier for the formatting because the uh, page organizer asks me the next style you see it automatically comes up as chapter opener but if I start my chapter openers always on the right hand side of the book then the next style that I'm going to want is going to be of course left page and we set up a little bit of formatting for left page in the last video. So then I'll click OK. And there I've got my uh, chapter started and moved it slightly down the page. If I enter all the way through, you see that when I get to the next page, it automatically flips to left page. 
And when I look down here, I am on page eight, and that's exactly what I want. I want my even numbered pages to be my left pages, and I want my odd numbered pages to be my right hand pages. So in order to make sure that all my chapters start on the right hand page so that the left hand page and then the formatting can flow from that, I sometimes have to insert a blank page uh, between chapters. So this is just chapter one, but you see I've got a blank page in front of the uh, front of the chapter opener here. And to recap what I showed you last week or last video, uh, inserting a blank page, you would go up to insert. So let's say you're at the end of your chapter. It finishes on the wrong side for you to, to go right into starting your chapter opener on the right hand side. Let's say your chapter finishes on the right hand side. So then I would go up to insert a manual break. I want page break and my style. I would say this was basic that we set up last week, which just has no formatting. It's just a blank page. So I would choose basic. Okay. I'm just going to cancel that off. So once I get in to the body of my book, there's just really four different styles of formatting that I would have. Actually, all the way through the book, there's really just four different styles. So I've started my book with basic, just blank pages. That's one of the styles. Uh, then I have my chapter opener that we created today. And again, we'll next video, I can show you how to do headers and footers. And of course, you're free to just put whatever you want on the different styles. So this is just how to create the different styles. So I would have the basic style or blank or whatever you want to call it, the chapter opener style. And then of course, left page followed by just to hit, go on to my next page. And of course that's followed by the right page because that was how we set it up to work last time. So once you have the tools to do the different formatting, you are just free to use your, your creative preference to set up the formatting how you like it. So thanks for watching everybody. I will link the uh, last video I made on this subject in the description and I'll also leave a link for my website in case you decide that you'd rather not learn all the steps yourself and you want to pay somebody to do it, I have um, the offer for uh, doing your formatting for you on my website and I'll leave that link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye now.